I will attempt to grind a little bit more. Maybe farm for some more cookies. <laughs> now what does the guy tell me to do? to turn your sword to me?
Shade Comet! Good! Pew Grave! Pew Grave! There is no way for you to stop my relentless advance. Do you play all this? Yo, Tanya! Sacred signature!
gonna keep the healing for right now. I'll try coup de gras and see what happens. Where did it come from? Gracie. My sister's name is Grace, so Coop to Gracie. Fight the boar again, third time's the charm, I guess. Let's skip this. It's butt. Rough road. Shake Comet! Good! Pew Grave! Leave this place.
coup de grace. Now you will sleep. Bacon, in with a rough roast. Part of level up two, hooray! Batman. Kind of dangerous out here when it's late at night. You think the animals in the forest never used to be this aggressive before? By the way, you never told me if I'd answered your question correctly. What? Of course, this is all just a story in my mind, so I'm sure there's no way I could possibly be wrong. It's almost time. We have to hurry if we're gonna make it, Frederick. Wait. These flowers are what I wanted to show you. Flowers? Just watch. They're about to blossom. Heaven's mirror. They're like a reflection of the starry sky on the meadows. Heaven's mirror. This is the only place they bloom in the forest. Do you see any on the stairway to heaven? These flowers never bloom during the day, only at night. When the sun is up, they stay in their buds, but they're able to absorb sunlight with their leaves. And after night falls, they let out all the light they've stored when they blossom. It always happens at exactly two o'clock in the morning. They're beautiful. Absolutely stunning. It truly is a wondrous sight. But they're also called death lights. Death lights? 
The sun brings life, but the dark brings death. And these flowers bloom in darkness. So, darkness is evil, light is good. Whether you want to call them Heaven's Mirror or Death Lights, that's up to you, Frederick. But it seems like, these days, nearly everyone is taken to calling them Death Lights. Long ago, it was thought they looked like the light that guided people to death, since they blossom the opposite of regular flowers. Even now, a lot of people don't like these flowers. To many, they're still considered a bad omen. That's also how they think of me. Yeah. Frederick, you said before that this whole world is all just a dream you're having, right? But if you're in your own dream, how can you be so completely positive that what's happening is only a dream? And if what you're experiencing in the dream is so realistic to you, how can you even tell what's actually the real world? And to prove my point, you didn't read my mind earlier. Ah. Uh. You were wrong. I was thinking about leaving Tenuto. I want to go out into the world and live my own life. Even if that life only exists inside your dream. I don't know how much time I have left to live, but I want to live what's left of my life in a positive way, bringing happiness to others. Yeah, for the firemen. I just want to help people somehow. Like these flowers, even though people call them death lights, they still blossom and struggle to live on. You're going to leave the village? But where do you intend to go after you leave Tenuto? I'll go to Forte Castle. And then I'm going to meet with the Count to ask about the taxes on floral powder. Because right now, they're hurting everyone in the village. You it's know, you should be edges. happy you couldn't read my mind. Since you can't use magic, it means you don't have an incurable illness. Please, stay at my house tonight. I'll tell my mom you're coming. You're a guest in our dream world, after all. That's not something that happens every day. <laughs> A flower that resembles you. Bad omen, death lights. Hmm. Meanwhile, in another dimension, or another town at least. I'm going outside Red Ardine, though. It's not like we're going on a picnic, Beat. Don't get so excited. Yeah, I know that, Red Oak. We're going to help Red Ardondo's poor by getting the leaders to lower taxes on stuff besides the mineral powder, right? That way, everyone can afford blankets and cheese and all the honey-covered bread they could ever possibly want. Then everyone can finally be happy, right, Reddo? That's exactly right. Hey, I'm proud of you, Beat. We can't solve things by just stealing bread. We have to uncover the real root of the problem. Yeah, you said it. <laughs> so, uh, where are we going anyway? <sighs> you mean you don't know? Jeez, I take back what I just said. We're heading to Forte Castle to talk to the guys in charge. Come on, let's go. Hey, Reddo, wait up!
And with that, folks, I think I'm going to end the recording here. So uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. And we'll be back with more Eternal Sonata soon. Bye now.